Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Hope you guys are doing well, having a great time. So today we are here with another exciting opportunity and this time this is not just a single opportunity but study in Canada, work in Canada, details about Canada, living in Canada, getting an opportunity in Canada without eyelids. So in this video we'll be covering everything about Canada. So if you're new to our channel, can you consider subscribing to our channel to hit the bell icon as well so that you don't miss any of your coming updates and no doubt if you watch this video till end all the doubts about canada will be crystal clear for you so yeah without any delay let's just talk about today's video so the headline or the topic is study in canada without eyelids is it possible fully funded scholarship can you get a scholarship as well well, yes, as the headings indicates, it is possible. So, are you ready for a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity or an adventure? So, yeah, if yes, so Canada has came up with such an opportunity. So, the Canadian Scholarship Program 2022 for international students interested in pursuing bachelor's, master's or doctoral degrees at Canadian universities. Many scholarships are available in Canada. Thousands of international students come to Canada to pursue their education. So these are basically some of the yes and no's and do's and don'ts. Uh, I would not say no's or don'ts, but yes is about Canada. These are all the details. The main of the, the things are in bold letters like study in Canada without Alice or 15,000 programs. But we'll read this. Does Canada give scholarships to international students? Yes, over 15,000 programs are offered by Canada's world-class universities across hundreds of sites. So yeah, that is possible. If you are looking for a Canadian scholarship, you've come to the right place. The Canadian government offers a variety of scholarships, as well as scholarships from public university. The Government of Canada, other government, non-government organizations and international organizations all offer these awards. Non-Canadians and Canadians alike can take advantage of all of the chances. The following is a list of Canadian scholarships. Details of Canadian scholarships without Alice 2022. So yeah, the host country is Canada. The scholarship is fully funded. The programs are bachelor's, master's, and PhD degree programs. Bachelor's, master's, and PhD. Yeah, that's true. You've heard me right. So now we have a list of scholarships and a list of opportunities for undergraduates. Starting from Lester B. Pearson International Scholarship. So this scholarship offers undergraduate uh, scholarships to undergraduate students at the University of Toronto. The scholarship will cover tuition, books, incidental fees, and full residence support for four years. If we click on this link right here, the details about this program will open up right here in front of you. Study where the world comes together, a world renowned universities on campus about the scholarships. This is the eligibility and international students currently in your final year of secondary uh, school or have graduated no earlier than june 2021 beginning of your studies at the university of toronto in september 2022 studies in january 2022 at another post secondary institution so the application process to apply you will need to receive the nomination from your school high school so are already contacted, verified, or are submitted an application to participate in our program available here. Just need to click on this link. Apply to study at Toronto University. Click on this link. For uh, obviously, do take care of the deadlines. Please be advised that you will be considered for the this scholarship uh, for your first choice of program. You may able for several. You are able to make several choices and may receive admission to them all. However, this scholarship, if awarded to you, would be restricted to your first choice of program. So you have to take care of the first choice. Once you've received nomination and uh, you've applied to the university, you can complete the online application form for the scholarship. But that's the last step. Scholarship deadline 30th of November, uh, 14th of December, 7th of November, 17th of January where you stand 
you will find out once you complete these forms so are you a student and everything okay just click on next are you uh, uh, apply for your school to participate in our scholarship program school information details about your school school contact information and submit basically what they are trying to say is in order to nominate an outstanding student for the scholarship we require additional information about your school they are talking about your institution please complete the form below and submit your school for verification once submitted you will send a confirmation email at the address you provide you will be then sending instructions for nominating your student directly what they are trying to say is that if your school is already nominated your school or college in the universities of toronto lesnar b person international scholarships uh, portfolio then perfectly well if not then you have to apply on behalf of your school to nominate your school in their website in their database then you can further go on and apply for your application or the school itself can apply for you and for other students or other colleague uh, other colleagues from this same school you are studying in that was the first step now this is the second step looking for applications checking your required documents how your application is considered how you can get a scholarship and everything it's a long procedure you need to follow i have made videos about university of toronto but that was a uh, that was a step which i would say a bit of uh, confusing so these are some of the videos which i would recommend you to watch and understand before applying so yeah and let's just if we go back to our uh, topic right here you guys can see we have so many different scholarships so in this video i will not be able to explain each and every one of it but i can tell you a bit of differentiations about them like it uh, this is uh, worth of the scholarship is mentioned right here the worth of the scholarship is not mentioned right here right so you have to check these things before applying for a scholarship you have to take care of everything like the course you want to apply to if you are eligible or not if you are then how you can apply if you apply what is the chances for you getting selected and if you are applying and you don't have ilas in your hand what will affect and how can you recover from that and there is a thing called english language proficiency certificate which you can get from your university or from your uh, you if you still don't understand you can just write down english language proficiency on our website or even though on google you will find details about it you you will let they will google will let you know how you can get one and after after getting all of these all of those details um then you, i would uh, say you can kind of go and uh, further on and apply for it what uh, why why did i included english language proficiency right here because english language proficiency would help you to get an admission admission in a scholarship admission in the university without a scholarship for bachelor's or master's or phd degree program and when you get the uh, admission you can further go on and study and uh, for example if your english language proficiency certificate is still not working you can kind of go on your own finances apply to the university for the language program extensive language program only which will be i don't know about different countries but in pakistan it would be really hard to get a visa for that university will give you an admission but uh, sometimes the embassies in pakistan will not give you the visa because they will be like uh, you don't have any admission from a degree in your hand but you do have a language um, language course in your hand language admission in your hand so we are doubtful about your case and things like that these things opens happens only in pakistan i don't know about any other countries so but yeah people have also gone from pakistan to different countries on language visa you keep that in mind that's also a possibility if you don't have alice don't worry just take an admission in language school and just tell them that i want to go and learn language that's it you can go further on and learn about um so different uh, procedures about uh, transferring your uh, language admission into university admission into from, from language to bachelor's or master's you know so these were the list of uh, undergraduate studies i mean undergraduate opportunities these are the list of the uh, master's studies 
these are the list for the phd studies the, we have a work opportunity in canada right here we just need to kind of click on this link and you can go further on on the big details about uh, these uh, things and these are the list of the universities in canada which do not require alets okay these university do not require alets they give you an admission if you have admission you can go further on and kind of see how things can go you know so these are the latest articles on the different uh, scholarships in canada which you can go and check it out on different things you know so yeah if you guys have still any doubts questions or difficulties you guys can contact us in the comment section below till then thank you so much for watching and all the very best